surprisingly doesn't look that dark. Hello and welcome to In the Eyes of the Holder with me, a person who doesn't keep up with doing regular stuff. That's mostly because I have a legion of other things to do before I work on the website. So the thing that costs a lot is kind of on the bottom of the list. Not so far down the bottom. It's still there. As probably you've noticed, I've been doing comics, so that's been the kind of fun. Um, somewhere I'm going to be putting weird shit music from the C Remix. You're going to be hearing that a lot. Um, but everything seems fine. I don't see any problem anytime soon with this. But since it would be just using uh, Windows Movie Maker a lot, that could be a problem. I'm in classes now, so this could also be a problem, but I don't really care. That will come to that bridge when it's over. But everything should be fine in a long while. But let's just go ahead and get through everything. So, um, besides trying to do a music medley thing. Um, that's actually taking a very long time. It should be a very long time until that's out. Um, because there's four other people, three other people, four other people that are doing it. And I think it's going to go down to three other people. But that all depends on what happens. Um, so... Before that even ever comes out, I'll probably have to go down the entire list over and over again. Um, it, just really, my list has been really bad. Um, let's try and skip through a lot of things. First thing on the list is what does the internet think.net? What does the internet think.net is basically a search kind of engine that basically looks for the topic that you put in the search box. Now, it's fine. It seems pretty cool. Because all it does is just get results. And it seems pretty cool. If you ever looked at it, um, it shows up with a positive and negative and neutral uh, ratio. Um, but it's in the beta stage. And it's still very crappy. And silly. I mean, it's it used to be the mark of ridiculousness. I don't know what the people are doing with it now, but it's still kind of. Just, so I've done a few searches, and it's gotten really weird. I mean, you can put it in like different kind of terms, mix things around, and see what comes up. But it's fine. I would recommend going to because um, if you're not doing this, then you're probably just gonna be all omegle. Next is a big cupcake kind. Yeah, that comic isn't going to go away for a while, but it's going to be like a fucking long time. Um, but Epic Cupcake Time is a pony version of Epic Meal Time, and I found Epic Cupcake Time first. My friend was talking about Epic Meal Time, and I checked out a few episodes of Epic Meal Time, and I like Epic Meal Time. It's... I haven't seen all of it on my list. That stuff I need to do first. So, we need to do that. But, Epic Cupcake Time is pretty good. I mean, it's a good Flash version. Mm. Epic Cupcake Time is by, is on new ground, and it's by 47 times on there, and it's by no more than 9 on YouTube. Usually people look on YouTube and then not look on new grounds. But that doesn't work. Newgrounds is the place you need to go because that actually does paper voting. And I'm a whore for Tom Fult, but still. 
And they've done like two other videos of the series. Um, Epic Pie Time, which is the same thing, and then Epic Web Time, which is basically some kind of life thing for Octavia and Final Scratch. If you don't know who these characters are, good for you. You don't need to know any of these characters if you don't know them. It's best if you stay away, but it's good if you want to check it out anyways. There's some other character on YouTube that I saw a few times and I think I noticed it during when I was just goofing off. Um, some person named Nyanners, which I think is just some chick who just voices over random stuff. It can speak for itself, but still. <clears throat> she does just random voice work for random things. I think one of my favorites is the Troll Sama thing, where she plays uh, just random trollish comments. I think I like that the most. But, along with that, Yanners is pretty good. Um, on a final note, uh, there was something I saw on YouTube when I was looking up a scene from Family Guy called the Distracting Horn. It's basically these guys talking and there's a horn going off in the background it's getting louder and louder. Yeah. It's getting louder and louder and louder. Um, there is a person on YouTube who basically hmm, was just perfect about this. They did a good job even though it's like Thomas the Train Engine, but they're good. The dude's name is Sega Mario, and he does a few good uh, Gmon stuff. Uh, what does he do? Is it Gmon? He does some good videos. It's basically, Thomas the Train Engine and stuff. Which is kind of weird. I did not even noticed there was some kind of fan base for that. I didn't know it was that big of a fan base. But still, I've been noticing a lot more. It's been kind of creepy. Other than that, um. There was this, I was just looking for it and I found this one. The reason I was looking for it is because I found uh, it off Schwiggin's um, videos, who's a very good G modder source filmmaker. But other than that, um, I found his thing and the it just got any rude, offensive, silly comments of pointless questions will be removed. That includes first exclamation mark, exclamation mark, one, one, exclamation mark, really, it's spam. Um, and then there was another one. It's from Family Guy. P.S. Don't even try kidding. I take kidding seriously, too, and consider yourself lucky that I'm not I'm letting you off with a warning. It was that, and then I looked at his page, and he said, don't confuse me with Sega or Mario. I'm not either. It's, it just got to one of those points where I needed to do something, and then they blocked me. That I thought was funny. Anyway, um, I think that's going to be it. Uh, that was a very bad review, but still. What are you going to do? I need to get through all that stuff, but I need to go now. Goodbye. Ta-ta.